Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Must Solve DILR Set Series powered by Coachify. I'm Mohit, mentor of thousands of students. In this particular video series, we pick up one puzzle and we see how we can solve it in minimum possible time. What should be the best approach of solving a particular puzzle? Today's puzzle is from CAT 2023 paper. The puzzle belongs to arrangement and distribution category. At the same time, it belongs to quant based puzzle category as well. For new viewers, there are quick few instructions. Guys, don't solve it here. No need to pause the video, take the screenshot, nothing is needed. There is a link given in the description of the video that will take you to the PYQ zone. Firstly, attempt it on your own and then do watch the explanation there itself. Now, one thing is very, very important. Whenever you are solving any set on your own, firstly, you try to understand why a particular information point is placed at a particular place. There must be some logic behind it. So you try to understand, interpret the mindset of the examiner, right? So we'll analyze the information with the same thought. Let's quickly begin. It says that Anjali, Bipasha and Chitra, that means A, B and C visited an entertainment park that has four rights. So we have three visitors and we have four rights. Each ride lasts one hour and can accommodate one visitor at one point. Nice. Now, uh, in the beginning, when we start reading it, it may seem that it is lengthy. But when you proceed with the information, you will find out that it is one of the easiest sets. It's very easy to solve, right? So let's begin. Now, it says that all rides begin at 9 a.m. and must be completed by 5 p.m. So this is one constraint that is limiting the information and reducing our cases, right? Now, let's proceed. Now, it says that except for ride 3 for which the last ride has to be completed by 1 p.m. This is our first information which will be utilized later for eliminating the cases. But since it is given in the basic information, there is high probability that you are going to miss this information while solving the sets. So such information points should be carefully read and should be specifically marked, right? So very important, right? Now, let's proceed. So it says that for all the rides, rides begins at 9 a.m. and must be completed by 5 p.m. except for ride 3 for which last ride has to be completed by 1 p.m. Okay, we'll use it later. Ride gates open every 30 minutes. Example 10 a.m. Now you think again why the first uh, time is 10 a.m. Why not 9 a.m. so that you get confused, right? So this is given to make you confused. Our first ride begins at 9 a.m., not 10 a.m. This is just an example in which the first time is 10 a.m. So don't get confused here. 10 a.m., 10.30 and so on. Whenever a ride gate opens and there is no visitor inside, the first visitor waiting in the queue buys the ticket just before taking the ride. That means, let's say some ride is about to begin at 10. So you, are, you, you have to assume that the ticket is bought at 10 a.m. itself. I mean, there is no waiting time after buying the ticket. There may be a possibility that there is a waiting time before buying the ticket, but you are buying the ticket at the same time when the ride is about to begin, right? Let's proceed. The ticket prices are rupees 20, 50, 30 and 40 for rides 1 to 4 respectively. So these are the ticket prices. And for all the rides, we have provided the ticket prices. So now this is not a um, challenge for us, right? So yeah, each of the three visitors took at least one ride and did not necessarily take all rides. That means for each and every visitor, it is not mandatory that they are taking all the rides, right? And for each and every ride, there must be at least one visitor. There can be maximum three visitors, but there must be minimum at least one visitor. So this is what it means. None of them took the same ride more than once. So this is again one important point. So the movement time from one ride to another is negligible, okay? And a visitor leaves the ride immediately after the completion of the ride. No one takes a break inside the park unless mentioned explicitly. So if any visitor is taking any break in between, the information will be uh, provided to us separately, right? Without that, we are not supposed to assume that any of the visitor is taking any break in between, right? Now, these are the additional information points. So, uh, now we have understood what we are supposed to do. So, we are provided with different time slots and we are provided with four rides. We have to, we have three visitors. So, we have to make a table in which we need to fill the information for all the visitors that which visitor is taking which ride, I mean the slot for the visitor, the total ticket price and everything. So, for that, we need to use this additional information points. 
along with that, the points that we have discussed in the beginning. So let's begin solving this puzzle. So this is our table. Uh, these are the four rides, ride one, ride two, ride three, and ride four. Their ticket prices are mentioned in rupees. Uh, this is the starting time for uh, starting times. Basically, 9 to 9.30 slot is there. So each slot is of 30 minutes. That means 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10. So this is one hour. So if any ride begins at 9, it will end at here. At 10 a.m., another ride starts. So this is 10 to 10.30. 10.30 to 11, 11 to 11.30, 11.30 to 12. So that means these are start times, right? So you have to understand this way. Uh, it will be convenient if we take it this way. Now let's read the points one by one and let's try to fill our table. And let's see uh, how much we can fill it, whether we are able to get the complete information or we have to go with questions. Now we have to figure it out. Chitra never waited in the queue and completed her visit by 11 a.m. after spending rupees 50 to pay for the tickets. Nice. So Chitra spent 50 rupees for the tickets and Chitra completed her visit by 11 a.m. Very nice. So Chitra is not present in the park after 11. So this is your by 11 a.m. That means 10.30 to 11 slot. So we are done here for Chitra, right? So 10.30 to 11. This is done for Chitra. Now we have to understand here that Chitra is spending in total 50 rupees for tickets. This can be done in two ways. What are the ways? One is that Chitra is taking only ride two and she is spending 50 rupees in that. So this is done. So in that case, Chitra is taking only ride two. The other way is Chitra is taking ride one along with that ride three. So 30 plus 20 becomes 50 rupees. So these are the two ways. Now we need something with which we can find out which is the case for Chitra. So if you read the second point carefully, it clearly says that Anjali took a ride 1 at 11 a.m. after waiting for 30 minutes for Chitra to complete it. That means Chitra took ride 1. So definitely Chitra is also taking ride 3. Then only she is spending 50 rupees. Na? Otherwise she cannot. So there were only two cases. Either she is taking this ride or ride 1 and ride 3 combined. Right. So now uh, let's fill it for Chitra. So it says that Anjali took ride 1 at 11. So let's talk about Anjali. Anjali is taking ride 1 at 11 a.m. Let's fill it. So this is Anjali. It will take one hour. Right. And okay. Anjali waited for 30 minutes. Anjali ne wait kiya hai 30 minutes ke liye. That means, aur kis sa wait kiya usne? So 11 se pehle 30 minutes ke liye wait kiya. Yani kaun le raha tha? So Chitra was taking this particular ride. So yani Chitra 10 se 11 mein kaun si ride le rahi thi? Ride 1. So this is Chitra. Right. So this is an important point. Up now you have to understand that Chitra is finishing her rides by 11, right? So that means iski jo ride thi rahi hogi, ye 10 se pehle rahi hogi. So we are only provided with one slot, which is 9 to 10, ye wala slot. So Chitra ne 9 se 10 mein kaun sa, kaun si ride li hai, ride 3. So this is for, again for Chitra, right? So we are done for Chitra. Now Chitra is out of the park. Okay, let's proceed from here. So uh, now one more point, it was the only ride where Anjali waited. Again, this is one more important point. We'll see how it will be utilized later. Let's proceed from here. Vipasha began her first of the three rides at 11.30 a.m. So Vipasha began her first of the three rides at 11.30 a.m. All the three visitors incurred the same amount of ticket expense by 12.15. What is the meaning of this 12.15 guys? So it means 12 to 12.30, basically in between, in between any 30 minute period, you are not buying any ticket, you are not starting any ride. That means in between 12 and 12.30, you are not starting any ride. Either you are starting it at 12 or you are starting it at 12.30. That means if you have bought the ticket at 12, it will be considered for 12.15 also, simple. Now what you're saying is all the three visitors incurred the same amount of ticket expense by 12.15 and how much that amount will be? So it will be 50 rupees. How you can figure it out? With the help of Chitra's data, 50 rupees. So now we have to think that Anjali is also spending 50 rupees out of which 20 she has spent here, then remaining 30 where she is supposed to spend. Now, in this particular time frame, she is not going to take another ride because she is occupied here from 11 to 12. Okay. And before that, she waited for 30 minutes, right, for this particular ride. That means she is not taking any ride before that also. Okay. Now, when she can take another ride? 
why i am saying that to you before that she is not taking any right because we have to only take right 3 for anjali we have to make her some total of ticket price as 50 20 she has spent here remaining 30 she is going to spend here this cannot be the slot this cannot be the slot that means this will be the slot here right so she has spent 30 rupees at 12 so till 12 15 she has spent 20 here 30 here that means again 50 i hope you have understood this point so this is the critical information point so anjali is uh, occupied in this particular ride right 3 from 12 to 1 right so this was the information till here what we are saying is bipasha began her first of the three rides at 11:30 now you have to think which can be that ride so uh, 11:30 par kaun si ride ho sakti hai एंड उसकी वो फर्स्ट राइड है सो अगेन विपाशा इज सपोज टू स्पेंड फिफ्टी रुपीज क्योंकि आपको तीनों का अमाउंट ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी तक सेम करवाना है ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन तक देखो यहाँ लिखा है सेम एक्सपेंस करवाना है सभी का ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन तक तो विपाशा की पहली राइड कौन सी होनी चाहिए राइड टू होनी चाहिए इलेवन थर्टी पर इसको बिगिन करवा देते हैं सो दिस इज विपाशा तो इतनी जानकारी हमें फर्स्ट थ्री पॉइंट्स में मिलती है और उसकी हेल्प से हम इसको इतना फिल कर पा रहे हैं अब हमें आगे बढ़ना होगा आगे इसको सॉल्व करना होगा ओके सो अब लास्ट पॉइंट देखते हैं द लास्ट राइड टेकन बाय अंजलि एंड विपाशा वाज़ द सेम वे विपाशा वेटेड थर्टी मिनट्स फॉर अंजलि टू कंप्लीट हर राइड ओके देखो जो आखिरी राइड है अंजलि और विपाशा दोनों के लिए सेम है और विपाशा ने अंजलि के बाद में उसको लिया है तो ये राइड कौन सी हो सकती है सबसे पहले ये फिगर आउट करते हैं राइट सो क्या ये राइड हो सकती है नहीं हो सकती क्योंकि अंजलि ने देखो 12 पीएम पे इसको फिनिश किया उसके बाद एक राइड और यहां से स्टार्ट की है तो ये तो लास्ट नहीं हो सकती ना दिस इज गॉन क्या ये लास्ट राइड हो सकती है अगर ये लास्ट राइड है तो इससे पहले अंजलि को अंजलि को आना पड़ेगा विच इज नॉट फिजिबल फॉर अंजलि क्योंकि अमाउंट वाला केस गिवन था फिफ्टी रुपीज राइट सो अंजलि यहां नहीं आ सकती दैट मीन ये भी लास्ट नहीं है क्या ये लास्ट नहीं है क्योंकि ये तो एक बजे बाद बंद हो जाता है ना इसका गेट ही बंद हो जाता है एक बजे राइट तो ये भी नहीं हो सकता क्योंकि इसके बाद विपाशा को आना चाहिए अगर ये आखिरी है तो दैट मीन वी आर लेफ्ट आउट विथ आर राइट फोर इज द लास्ट राइट जो कि इन दोनों ने ली है और विपाशा ने अंजलि के बाद में ली है तीस मिनट वेट किया है उससे पहले एक घंटे का कॉफी ब्रेक भी है ये भी समझना है अपने को यहाँ पे गिवन है इन्फॉर्मेशन राइट चलो तो अब देखो एक और इसके साथ में इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट था जो कि मिस होने के हाई चांसेस है वरना दो केस बनते हैं एक केस ही बनता है कि विपाशा ने एक राइट तो ली है और एक बस आखिरी ली राइट तो ये दो केस बना करके आप इसको मतलब ये केस से आप इसको सॉल्व कर सकते हो अगर आप इस पॉइंट को केयरफुली रीड नहीं करते क्लियरली मेंशंस विपाशा बिगेन हर फर्स्ट ऑफ द थ्री राइड्स दैट मीन्स विपाशा इज टेकिंग थ्री राइड्स इन टोटल नाउ विच कैन बी द थर्ड वन भाई एक तो ये हो गई एक आखिरी हो गई उसके अलावा एक राइड और कौन सी हो सकती है दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू हैव टू थिंक तो देखो ये नहीं हो सकती इससे पहले भी नहीं जा सकते क्योंकि विपाशा का अमाउंट फिफ्टी रुपीज है ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन तक तो इससे पहले नहीं जा सकते यानी इसके बाद ही जाना है तो इसके बाद ही अगर जाना है तो सेम राइड भी एक से ज्यादा बार नहीं ले सकते आप तो भाई एक ही ऑप्शन बचा राइड वन का तो यहां से करवाते हैं इसको तो ये हो गया विपाशा की राइड ठीक है ओके नाउ विपाशा को यहां से वन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स का ब्रेक लेना है क्योंकि वन आवर का कॉफी ब्रेक उसके अलावा थर्टी मिनट्स वेट करना है क्योंकि अंजलि इज टेकिंग दैट राइड तो यहां से आप वन एंड हाफ आवर काउंट करो सो दिस इज वन आवर दिस इज अगेन थर्टी मिनट्स सो नाउ विपाशा विल बिगिन राइड फोर एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट और बिपाशा ने 30 मिनट वेट किया है उसके बाद में ये वाली राइड ली है यानी अंजलि इज ऑक्यूपाइड इन दिस राइड फ्रॉम टू टू थ्री भाई यानी बिपाशा एक घंटे का कॉफी ब्रेक लेकर के यहां फ्री हो गई थी बट उसने 30 मिनट और वेट किया क्योंकि अंजलि ये राइड ले रही थी राइट सो ये हो गया हमारा केस अब नाउ एक इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इसमें बच गया विच इज इट वॉज द ओनली राइड वेर अंजलि वेटेड तो ये राइड वो थी जहां पर अंजलि ने वेट कर लिया यानी अब इसके बाद अंजलि को कहीं भी वेट नहीं करवाना तो अगर नहीं करवाना तो भैया इस राइड के बाद भी अंजलि को एक राइड और लेनी है वो कौन सी राइड होगी दिस इज द ओनली ऑप्शन लेफ्ट आउट चलिए जी तो यहां से यहां तक एक घंटे का तो विपाशा का कॉफी का ब्रेक हो गया ठीक है पूरा मतलब सॉरी यहां से ये राइड यहां कंप्लीट हुई तो यहां से यहां तक कॉफी ब्रेक हो गया विपाशा का और उसके बाद ये थर्टी मिनट्स का वेटिंग टाइम हो गया तो इसके साथ में हमारी पजल पूरी सॉल्व हो जाती है नाउ वी हैव टू गो फॉर क्वेश्चंस सो दिस इज आर सॉल्यूशन सेट राइट तो ये हो जाता है सभी के लिए कि किसने किस विजिटर ने कब से कब तक कौन सी राइड ली है ये विपाशा का कॉफी ब्रेक यहाँ आ गया थर्टी मिनट्स का उसका वेटिंग टाइम आ गया एंड देन विपाशा की लास्ट राइड यहाँ पे हो गई है ठीक है पहला क्वेश्चन वट वॉज द टोटल अमाउंट स्पेंड ऑन टिकट इन रुपीज बाय विपाशा सो ट्वेंटी 
and 40, 110. C option is the right answer. Next question, which were all the rides that Anjali completed by 2 p.m.? So, 2 p.m. we are talking about 2 p.m. We are talking about this here. So, Anjali has which rides complete kiye? Ride 1, Ride 2 and Ride 3. Correct answer is B option. Which ride was taken by all the three visitors? So, where are visitors showing the Obviously, Ride 1. Mein. Correct answer is A option. How many rides did Anjali and Chitra take in total? In total, we have to tell you. So, Chitra has two rides and Anjali has four rides. So, 4 plus 2 becomes 6. 6 is the correct answer. What was the total amount spent on tickets in rupees by Anjali? Because Anjali has four rides, li hai, to inko jod dije. so this becomes 70 and 50, 120 and 20, 140 rupees. So, this was our today's puzzle set. I hope you liked it. For further videos, do subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Till then, keep solving, keep learning, keep growing. Bye-bye and take care.